Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. There's a Spinosaurus down there. Huh. Wouldn't mind capturing that guy. Taming it. You know, that whole thing. There's actually an Alpha Raptor behind me too, but uh, we're not concerning ourselves with the Alpha Raptor in this episode. No, in this episode we're going to be doing the same thing I was doing in the last one because I like the idea of kind of exploring with you and just seeing the stuff for the first time. I mean, maybe it's not your first time, but sure is for me. So if I look, there's the good old red obelisk over there. And somewhere over there is the blue one, which means the green one is around here. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere-ish. Might be that there's a bit of a sun in the way to see all of that, but you know, it's okay. I just thought I'd head straight back in this kind of, well, northerly direction and see what's going on with the swamp, because check out the snowy biome in the last episode. Gotta say, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, here we are. Now we're getting into the swamp proper, I believe. Look at that. We have trees growing out of the water, all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, this looks pretty swampy to me. Wow, there's something going on over here. Raptor, that's what it is. A couple raptors. We're just going to go ahead and ignore those raptors for now. I'm trying to fly somewhat low so we, I can actually see everything that's around here. Because there are some new things out in this way. Used to be, I believe, that the snakes were only in caves, and now you can get snakes... Oh, I hear a ribbit. I hear a ribbit. Or is it? I'm actually a little worried about that, too, come to think of it. Those frogs can be kind of nasty. I don't want to accidentally anger one and get it smacking me with its tongue or whatever it does that inflicts a ton of torpor. Yeah, they're actually kind of a better way to knock things out than a scorpion if you don't like the idea of using, well, I guess bolts or traps or arrows, that sort of thing. Or I guess you could just punch it, but whatever it happens to be. But yeah, there's all sorts of new stuff going on with this game now. I still have not reset the map, so it is possible that there may be a frog hopping right there, in which case, maybe I should look into trying to get that guy, huh? I, I kind of lost it, though. Was it going this way, or was it going the other way? I thought it was going the other way. Where are you? I hear you ribbiting, buddy. I hear you ribbiting. Aha, there you are. There's a frog right down there. Big old jumping frog. Now, I believe I can do that. Look at that. Picked up a frog. Well now, this episode might have just changed direction a little bit because I I kind of think I want to go get myself a frog. Which means I'm going to need to head all the way back to my base because I, I really wasn't prepared to do this. I'd actually kind of like to just go throw this one in my taming box and kind of work from there. But uh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I could set it down and see. I just wasn't really planning on doing this frog was not really what I had in mind. I didn't really bring the supplies for it, so and I wasn't really planning on taming anything, period. So it wasn't just frog I wasn't prepared for. Sarko's everywhere, huh? Let's go ahead and just set it down and see if it's angry with me. It may be. There you go. And it just jumped over the edge. Really? Ah, frog. Well, it is down there, so it's not like it's hard to find. I don't know, what are you carrying? Eh, I don't know. Here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Let's jump down. With any luck, I can pick it up again. And it won't jump down over here, because this looks like a reasonably good area to tame from. I'm, I'm not seeing too much going on over here, so... Uh, Go ahead and try and set it down, and let's, let's see if I can bust out my crossbow in time. Really? You're just going to go over the edge? Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. I don't need to tame one right now. I know where they are, and I know that I can pick one up on Big Bird, so I'm not going to concern myself with grabbing a, a frog right now. We can worry about that maybe tomorrow or, I don't know, maybe over the weekend. Maybe that would be kind of a fun thing to do, stream taming a frog. Here's a Carno. Say hi to the Carno. Definitely looking for snakes, though. I would like to get some Titan Boa eggs. I think those would be helpful. Maybe not as much now, since I... Well, 
If you're watching the bonus episodes, today should be 93x. Then you already know what I've been working on, in which case maybe the Titan Bow eggs aren't as necessary now as they once perhaps could have been useful, we'll say. Let's replace necessary with useful. We'll just go ahead and go with that. That seems like a fair assessment to me, so I don't know. It's all right, though. I, I don't I don't need them, but it would be nice to have them. I still keep needing to go get a Spinosaurus. I guess I know where to find a couple of them, huh? I should bring my T-Rexes out here and maybe track one down and see if I can get myself a Spino. Of course, that's going to mean bringing a lot of narcotics. I, I'm not convinced I have enough, actually. I have about 50 on me, just because I'm kind of carrying them out of habit right now and from previous encounters, but still don't really have a proper loadout for a Spinosaurus, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I need at least double that, if not triple. Didn't see the moose yesterday. I think I kept saying stag. If I did, I meant moose, just so you know. I'm sure that will have come up in the comments by now, in which case I've probably already said it, but if I haven't, there you go. And it is nice and hot over here in the swamp, which I guess, you know, probably should be. But I wasn't really, again, prepared for all this sort of stuff. I just kind of ran out with what normal gear I run around with, and there we go. There's a frog bouncing in there. Yeah, I do like this area a lot. I don't know that I want to build out here, but I do like this area. I like the way it looks. Maybe that's what I should say. It looks pretty cool. I was reading some folks were a little bit critical of how deep the water is, or maybe isn't, and... I mean, I could go splash around real quick and see how deep it is. This actually seems like a pretty tame area for the moment. Yeah, this isn't super deep. If I crouch... No, I can't even really crouch down here. So it's not even low enough for me to crouch in. Probably go prone in it, but that'd be about it. So it's not super deep, which means you're not really going to get a raft out here and be running around, you know, like a little river boat or ferry or anything like that. They'd need to increase the depth of the water out here, but you could do some interesting things if they did that. You could actually have Sarkos swimming around properly out here and they would, I think, turn into a completely different kind of threat just because you'd have to actually watch for them. They could move quickly, they could turn quickly, much quicker than they can compared to the land and or doing so on land. Oh, there's a scorpion in the water. Hmm, okay. Little raptor down there. And yeah, speaking of sarcos. Oh, you're you're actually trying to get Big Bird, are you? I think Big Bird's a little a little high for you there, buddy. You might want to just go mess with the stego or something. Wow, lots of scorpions. Oh, look at that. The frog shooting his tongue out at the scorpion. Nope. Check that, he's shooting at the Stego because the Stego with his AoE attack probably hit the frog. Yeah, those frogs are mean little buggers. You gotta watch out for them, they can actually do a fair amount of damage. Well, Torpor at least. Of course, the cool thing with the frogs is you can have them go, oh hello, T-Rex, and have them go attack insects, and when they do that, they eat them and convert what they eat into cementing paste. That's pretty awesome, if you ask me. There we go, there's the green obelisk. You know, if we flew long enough, we'd find it. It's actually starting to get late into the morning. It's going to be afternoon here before long. Now, I have to admit, this is an area I haven't spent a lot of time in. Mainly because once you get far enough northeast, then you kind of get to Carnivore Island and... Uh, yeah, I hadn't really been prepared for that up to this point, and I suppose I could probably make it over there with my T-Rexes without too much problem these days, but I just hadn't really gone that way all that much. Not necessarily looking to go that far right now, I just really wanted to kind of come out here a little more, a little closer to the obelisk, just to really see what it looks like, because it does change a little bit. There's a Titan Boa right there. Oh, I wouldn't be so lucky for that to be an egg, would it? Hmm, probably not. Can I see what's on the ground there? No, I'm near a rock. Definitely a rock. It's alright though. Big old snake down there. 
It's kind of nice. Gives you a little, little different variety in terms of threats you have to worry about. Not only do you have the usual raptors and T-Rex and Carnal and all that, but in this area, you get to contend with some pretty mean snakes. I kind of like that. Anything that adds a little variety and does so in a way that I think is fairly seamless, I'm a big fan of that. The way they've done this, the developers, it's pretty cool. I mean, I was talking about it a little in the last episode, just how, you know, you kind of have to suspend some disbelief within the game because you're talking about, wow, it's really chugging as it tries to stream everything in over here. Just because you're kind of talking about here you have the swampy area and then if you go, mm-hmm, come on, you can stream it in. If you go that way quite a ways, actually a little more over there, then you get a snowy area and then back here it'll end up being kind of a desert or something along those lines. It's kind of weird to have such extremes in terms of biomes, in terms of uh, landscapes within such a short distance. But then again, we don't know what this game is about. We still don't know where we are, how we got here, why we're here, what here even is. So it's not like everything has been answered and it's not like it's without possibility that this could all be explained because for all we know, this island is man-made and there's all sorts of crazy equipment and I think I already have one of those. I'll take it anyway, just in case. Oh, hi, snake. I guess we're going to do this. Yeah, that's the first time I actually found a Titan Boa. Where did my bird go? Um, he probably took off somewhere without me. Oh, that's not good. Because I wasn't really prepared for a Carno. I mean, I have better gear than in my single player game when I had a random Carno attack. There we go, there's my bird. I should probably check these guys. I never check their inventory, or I rarely do. I just, eh, don't care about it or forget about it or something. Here, hold all that for me, why don't you? You are going to eat well tonight, sir. I kind of feel like I should just force feed him that raw prime meat just as, uh, I don't know, for say, you know, to say thanks for dragging me around everywhere on his back, but it's all right. He knows the job. He knows what the pay is. He accepted the he accepted the, the contract when he joined up with the team. He approved it, as it were. But I'm going to call it an episode right here. I think this is pretty cool stuff. I am definitely enjoying this. I'm going to have to head out this way and do some proper taming. Maybe even... I don't know, maybe I'll just take a, a frog back with me. There are certainly enough frogs out here that I kind of have my choice of one. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of a white frog. How about that? Why do you say we take a white frog? I'll fly it back to the base, and on the next episode, I think I'll end up having an albino frog from the looks of things. Hmm. And that's a level 18. That's pretty good, too. Now, this is assuming, of course, that I can actually fly it back and then it doesn't hop away on me. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'll catch you on the next one. So, till then, thanks for watching. Are you actually attacking my, my bird? No, you're not. Good. See you later.